I think um, listening to some of the teachers that we've, we've heard from over the, the sort of last two days of the forum, um, I think of, often the solution to some of this is actually just to ban. You know, if we put in some technical filtering and so on, we'll stop children from coming up against the, um, the inappropriate or the harmful material that they might um, encounter. And I think prevention is often seen as something that's quite easy to do, but actually intervention is probably what we should be doing, but it, it seems to be much more difficult. Well, um, in terms of filters, they can be quite, um, uh, they, they can have some outcome in the younger ages, but an adolescent really can, you know, put the filter out and then get in and say, I wasn't there or something, because, you know, they can do anything. They can get around they can, it, Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a matter of really communication and limits and this balance between emotional support of parents and limits because if you don't have emotional support limits cannot be uh, cannot be uh, accepted by the adolescent because they are not convinced that it's for their protection on the other hand if there are no limits and all all the emotional support they really become uh, you know uh, uh, sort of um, spoiled so, uh, back to your question about prevention it, the, the main thing is that we really focus on prevention because it is very well known from, you know, like ancient years that preventing a situation is much more cost benefit but also social benefit than intervening because uh, it's, intervention can be really hard, you know, from our experience in kids and adolescents that have addictive behaviors or been bullied, they have been so much you know traumatized that you really need a lot of effort and long-term intervention to put them back uh, to to uh, you know a, a balanced situation but in terms of prevention we can really really offer a lot of things to a lot of children and this is what we must focus on and prevention has to do with information and public health design and a lot of uh, you know domains that can collaborate, like you know the state of each country, and uh, the school, the parents, the media, and also like we do medical or other professions that can put input and work all together. So prevention should really be our focus, and for kids that already have a problem, of course intervention. But uh, parents have to be informed. They, they don't, as you said, they do not know about these dangers and they think that if they leave their, their youth uh, alone and unattended in a room, they are protected. So, because they're in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so you mentioned parents there. I mean, which parents should we be targeting? Because we know that they're, they're a difficult group to engage with sometimes. Um, and, you know, we, we've got parents, um, of preschool children, teenagers, uh, is there one particular group that you think we really should focus on? As we said earlier, every group has different needs and developmental needs and as internet starts after, you know, well before the three years actually we must not really put kids on screen but after three years they start playing and they like interacting so parents should really, as we said, learn from a young age how to uh, have communication channels open and also give emotional support along with limits and have this really really precious balance in adolescence parents have need a lot of support anyway because adolescents are a difficult group and if there is no basis from earlier age it can be really hard so I, I would think it's parents in general and uh, you know parents that can be really very much active can be the models for other parents and start communicating and educating other parents like peer-to-peer -peer, uh, education in children they can help there too uh, well it really needs a good design but pre prevention is really the thing we must focus on through parents and teaching That's cool. thank you very much no, thank you